guys, today um, I got another video, and in this video I'm going to be showing an app that I use for my editing. So, first of all, it's called Splice, and damn, is it really fighting here? Um, and I'm going to be showing you the basics of it, and just showing you that, and then maybe you can use it for if you're setting a YouTube channel or something like that. Okay guys, so we're going to get in Splice. So this is Splice, this is what you guys see first. So also, quick note, I don't know if this is on Android or not. Right now I'm using an iPad, which means it's on iOS. I'm not 100% sure if it's on Android, but uh, you guys can check it out, I don't really know. Anyway, so once you first go into Splice, they're gonna show you this. Um, first of all, um, this is my last video, as you can see, the project 2020, um, uh, June 12th. Um, basically, that's the video I did before. And I actually used Splice to edit it, which made it look like where I changed my clothes. So, so first, obviously, I'm just going to click on Start a New Project. And then here where they shows your whole camera roll and um, what you can use. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use what I used in my last video, which was, um, I'm pretty sure this one, this. Okay, I'm going to click then on the top right, Next. And then here where you can name it whatever you want. This I'm just gonna call um I'm just gonna call it changing um clothes. I'm just gonna call it that for now. Okay, that's all. And then on the under it it says animated photos. Uh and it says when enabled, your photos will be animated by default. For now we're not gonna be doing that and the aspect ratio is gonna be landscape, that's the u normal YouTube um size. Um so we're just gonna click on the top right again, create. Okay, yeah, so now, as you can see, there are two separate videos, but then now, they put it both together. So, like, if you have two separate videos you want to put together, Splice is a great app for that. So, as you can see, it looks like I just changed my clothes. I know camera wasn't proper spot at that time. Um, no worries, though. So, basically, we already changed it. Like, we don't need to add anything else, basically, except for, like, music. So, as you can see in the bottom... These are all the things I want to be talking about for this video. First is media. So I'm going to go quickly what media is. Media is, in case you forgot to add something from your camera roll, you could easily go back and then add it, and then it will just add it to these two other videos, and which I'll be probably do doing later. Um, okay, next is text. This is really cool for this app. Is when you click on the text button, it automatically adds a text right here. You see that? So if it says double tap to edit. So I'm going to double tap it. And then it shows this and the keyboard. So obviously I can write whatever I want. And it will show there. And for example, let me just write. Um, I'll just write boom. Whoops. Okay. Boom. And then it writes boom right there. Exactly. Right? It's pretty cool. Um, also, if you want, at the bottom, it shows some other edit extra stuff that you could do for it. For like example, the color. You can change the color over here. So I'm just going to keep it white. Um, there's also duplicate, so you can make another um, text. And the opacity, which makes it how thick, uh, like how much you could see it. And that's basically, um, and then there's, of course, other things like delete and align. Um, and the font, of course. So, but that's basically what the text is. So I'm just going to, if you see on this bottom part right here, um, with the video and then under that it shows the text right here so if you want you could expand it more or even make it less so like if you want it for like very less time um, if you want to make it even more closer you can pinch the video and make it go closer so it even makes it bigger and so from here you can make it with specifically how big you want it to be so like even when you're recording it it shows the words All right okay there so now we're just going to delete it because we're going to go through the rest of the things. Effects. This one's also really cool. Um, effects is basically like filters. Like they have glitch filter, which I feel like looks really cool. Like that. Um, there's also like these chroma, chroma 1, chroma 2, chroma 3, chroma 4, and like so on. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, for now, though, I'm not going gonna to take it out. And go to the next thing. Music. So this is what... A really big thing so as you can see they have so many types of music but if you want you can go on your iTunes or imp imported music but for now let's just show what they have over here let's like they have different genres they have country action classical sad and so on 
all types of music and if you click on it it shows all the musics and if you want to add one for let me just see lane in the sun click on it and then on the top right you just click on like add so right here and then once it goes that it adds the song right here as you can see and if you let go it goes in the straight line right here um if you click on the music button then it shows the full thing of course the video the music is longer than the video itself so it's gonna go a little more farther back but of course you can just crop it like how i told you before for like the music um oh okay it says if I, it's rating the app um i'm gonna do that later right now because i'm in a video um so for now i'm gonna delete it so now you know what the media the text effects and music is now we're already more than halfway done and we just gotta go through title sfx and the voice so title this one's also very cool um if you click on it um it shows this full black screen right there plus a chat so in case you want to um add a specific spot just showing text instead of putting it on top of the video you just click title you double tap it and then write whatever you want again i'm just gonna write boom and then boom it's done right there it shows that and also if you want there's of course more editing on the bottom like the color um for the text but if you want you click on the thing on the specific video type and then you click on color you can even change here whatever you use so like for my last video i used this color i'm pretty sure you can just basically keep doing that um it's very really cool and definitely you should be using that in case you want to do a video Anyway, so now we're going to do click on it again and click on delete and the ch chat to the text. Oh, the text always stays there because it's an automatic thing, which is pretty cool. Anyways, now next thing is SFX. I really like this one, too, because it's sort of like music, except instead of music, it's just like sound of like different types of sound. So like if I click on it, for example, you have action, ambient, cars, cartoon, all sorts of types of music. We're just going to go on um cartoon and like the first sound is an anvil like this see it's sort of like an anvil sound and basically you could add all types of things like a boing a bing bang <laughs> and all sorts of music like all these types right here. like that okay now though we're gonna we're not gonna add any of these because it doesn't really match our, thing, our video right now. But if you ha have any case where you want to add some sound effect, totally go on SFX and pick one. All the types there. Okay, now for the last thing, a voice. Okay, I also like this one too. It's pretty cool where basically if you click on it, it shows it's going to record in three seconds. So like right now it's recording everything I'm saying. And if, I, if you want to stop, you just click on the red button and then it's done. And then now it will come over... The full video so, so like right, right now, now it's recording, recording everything, everything i've seen. seen see what i mean like it's pretty cool it goes on top of the video the voice anyways those are all the basic things of course you can add extra things like if you click on the video they show like volume of the video the, the specific video and then there's a second video of course also um you can even animate it that's actually really cool i'm going to show you that right now if you click on enable ken burns and then it's sort of like you can change it how how much you want it zoomed in for like a second so like you see how it sort of goes like that um it's pretty cool so like if you want to animate your things it's like that um but we're just gonna in case you made a mistake and you want to redo it on the top left beside the x the exit button there's an undo button so if you just want to undo what you just did click on that and then it shows what you've been doing and just undoing that and then that's basically it um hopefully um this short summary of splice helps you in you using the vi the app splice um the video is not sponsored by sponsored by splice but i'm just showing you how this incredible app could help you in your videos now i hope you guys enjoyed that video um hope sh make sure to subscribe and leave a like on this video and i'll be seeing you guys next time